5G technology is getting closer and closer to deployment around the world. And one of the leading companies in the field from the very outset has been ZTE. Here at 5G World in London, ZTE has demonstrated its lead role with 5G and its unique pre-5G solution, which is already about to be trialled with Hutchison in Austria. The company last night won a prestigious award for the best core network product, and we've been talking to ZTE about their achievements. And gang, congratulations on this award for the best core technology product. Tell us what that product is. OK, thank you. Uh, so uh, just last night, we got the uh, core network, best core network from the uh, 5G Summit, and really it's very exciting. So for ZTE, uh, OK, we are always uh, trying to fully understand the gaps between the existing uh, core network and the future uh, service chain. Okay. And we are trying to fully understand the uh, operator's pinpoint and uh, based on which to provide the best product solution and service to the customer. And the ZTE core network, virtual core network, got this award fully demonstrated the ZTE's uh, innovation capabilities and the leading positions in the uh, mobile core network and uh, uh, cloud-based core network field. Yes, now you've been very well known for leading in 5G and you have something unique called pre-5G. What is that? Okay, for actually, uh, as we know, the commercializ commercialization of the 5G will be in the year 2020. So the question for ZTE is, uh, we're gonna to wait or do something in the next five years. So for ZT as a telecommunication equipment manufacturer, we are the first vendor to propose the pre-5G concept in the year 2014. In the past two years, we got many achievements. So for pre-5G from, from the technical field, okay, it uh, includes the key technology, uh, commercial, early commercialized of the uh, key technology in the 5G and the uh, key technology defined in the uh, <laughs> LTA Pro, defined in 3GPP. Okay, so uh, which built the, uh, the bridge connecting the 4G and the 5G? Well, for the pre-5G, it is not a f uh, completely new tech uh, wireless technology. It includes, uh, uh, it uh, uh, focuses on the uh, evolution. Uh, com compatibility and uh, lower efficiency. Uh, and okay. within that, can you tell me what Massive MIMO is? Okay. For uh, Massive MIMO, uh, actually, uh, it is uh, one of the most important part in the pre 5 technology. Uh, uh, for for our part, we uh, we think the okay the gigabyte gigabyte plus uh, mobile broadband is very important. Among them, one of them is the uh, Massive MIMO and uh, my CUCA uh, pre-5G UDN, 256 uh, COM and L M LW and IA. Here I want, want to concentrate for the massive MIMO. For ZTE, uh, we adopt 128 antennas of the massive MIMO. And it provides 8 to 16 data stream to the terminals to improve the network capacity. And the spectrum efficiency can be improved up to four to six times. Uh, and uh, okay, and uh, especially uh, the Massive Memo adopt the 3D beam forming technology for the wider and the deeper coverage for the high buildings. And the most important, uh, the Massive Memo ZT pre 5 Massive Memo solutions does not change the air interface protocol, and it is compatible with the 4G. Terminals. Okay. Then the user does not need to change the terminals to enjoy the 5G-like experiences. This is most important. Fantastic. That's really good news. And I think you've already signed a, a deal with uh, Hutchison in Austria for this. Uh, yes. Uh, actually, not only Hutchison. We signed uh, uh, many, uh, yeah, strategic partnership with the many big operators. One of them is uh, uh, Hutchison. Uh, for the Mason Memo. Okay, we, uh, in the year 2015, we already start to deploy the uh, maximum mobile station in the commercial network with the uh, existing 4G product in, in Guangzhou with China Mobile. Mm. 
Okay, well, fantastic news. Thank you very much for talking to us. Congratulations on the award and best of luck with, the, with 5G developments going forward. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.